risk five instructions format there are six instruction types r register type i media type s store type b branch type u upper immediate type j jump type let me brief what each type means when we say register type it involves three registers two source registers rs1 and rs2 and one destination register rd rs1 and rs2 they are going to be like operands so whatever the operation that's defined by both function 3 and function 7 the operation will be performed between rs1 and rs2 and the result will be stored in destination register that's why it's called as register type this opcode defines whether it is of type r and here if you look at all these registers rs1 rs2 and rd they demand five bits overall there are 32 registers so we will try to use all the registers as either source register or destination register except x0 always remember x0 is hardwired to 0 so we need minimum 5 bits to address 32 registers and for function 3 3 bits for function 7 7 bits i type the only difference is we use constant instead of rs2 so the operation will always be performed between source register 1 and the constant defined by 12 bits that's why it's called immediate type function 3 defines the operation to be performed similar to our type and the operation will be performed between rs1 and the constant and the result will be stored in destination register in this case we need to make this constant as 32 bits because rs1 has value 32 bits so the operation is going to happen between the constant which is of 32 bits with the value rs1 which is of 32 bits so we need to sign extend this immediate value the sign bit will always be bit 31 all immediates are always sign extended and they are packed towards the leftmost available bits in the instruction which is nothing but bit 31 so we are going to use bit 31 and we are going to do sign extension s type means store type we use this instruction primarily to write the values into register here the value is defined by rs2 the value is stored in rs2 and the address will be calculated from both rs1 and immediate value so the address is going to be the sum of rs1 and immediate value again we need to sign extend the immediate value then it will be 32 bits and then we will add this value with rs1 and the function function 3 defines the operation what type of store we can think of storing word we can think of storing off word so that's defined by function 3 next is b type branch type it will always check the condition using rs1 and rs2 as operands rs1 is same as rs2 or rs1 is less than rs2 there could be different conditions if the condition is true then it will jump to this particular address the address which is defined by immediate value so here immediate is 12 down to 1 there are 12 bits so we are going to sign extend the immediate value and then we are going to calculate the address so if the condition is going to be true then the pc is going to be pc plus immediate value else pc is pc plus 4 that's how branch type works u type upper immediate 
whatever the constant that's defined by immediate value, that constant will be stored in the destination register. So basically we are going to load the upper immediate, which means we need to keep this constant at the MSB. So we are going to append zeros at the LSB. We will look at this later on. The last one is J type, jump type. So it's going to jump to a particular location and the address is defined by this immediate value. Here, if you consider all the instruction types, the source registers RS1 and RS2 and destination register RD and some of the fields like function 3, they have been placed at same location. Look at this, RS1 is placed at the same position for all instruction types, RD is placed at the same position for all instruction types almost and function 3 again placed at same position for all the instruction types. So this simplifies the decoding logic. This is the advantage of a RISC-V processor. All right.